Okay, so we're ready to start building our page. Obviously, at the heart of any website is its content, its HTML. So um, we're going to start building this page, and we'll start by actually just filling in all the content. Basically, what I have here, when you just look at this project, this very top link over here, this Web Design 2 Dictionary List, now that is an H1. I, I used a header 1 because it... I used it for semantic purposes, right? That's going to define uh, the actual page and all of its contents. And these um, I did as H2s. And then underneath each one of each one of the H2s is uh, a dictionary list. And inside of that dictionary list are the dictionary term, the DT, and inside is the, the DD, the dictionary description. So the dictionary term over here, usability, would be the actual term and the description is, you know, usability is the ease of use, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and start start working it. Um, I'm going to begin by firing up my, te my text editor. My, you know, I use Dreamweaver. Obviously, it's specifically geared towards uh, web design, but not necessarily, you don't, have to have Dreamweaver to work on any web project. Uh, I find it to be extremely easy and um, it just has a lot of features that kind of automate certain processes for me. I mean I kind of float between the code view, the design view, and use all its panels. But ultimately, in the end, you could build this in something as, as simple or lightweight as a text wrangler, which is Mac only, and, and uh, text edit, or I guess on the Windows side, it'd be like Notepad. Um, you get the same exact results. It's just, you know, some people would actually say this much. Some people, like hardcore programmers, and not even that hardcore programmers, uh, like to use these things because it gives them more control over the code. Because sometimes uh, Dreamweaver kind of does, uh, it can generate some code you don't want or just kind of add, you know, formatting and stuff. Anyway, I'm always working in between and, and correcting it as I see anyhow. So uh, works for me. So uh, and enough of that. Let's actually start uh, building the page. I'm going to start by creating a new page. The page type is going to be uh, X, uh, XML, HTML. Layout's going to be none. And the important thing is the doc type that you choose. I'm going to choose XHTML 1.0 strict. Um, I'm using strict because, well, for one, since this is a whole new project anyway, if I was starting a new project for a client, I want to go with strict because it's going to kind of force me to do uh, things in a better way. I mean, there's, there's like, you know, strict doesn't allow you to put in certain uh, presentation tags in your HTML. Like, for example, uh, the font tag, which you know not to use, is not even technically allowed in HTML. Uh, 1.0 str an XHTML strict. Uh, it's going to give you an error when you go to validate it. Also, things like the target link uh, isn't allowed over there. And you know what? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to work, I'm going to start working on this document and I'm going to kind of make the mistakes that maybe you would make so you see how to correct them as well. Um, so, for starters, uh, let me go back to my page and I'm going to kind of copy and paste some of this stuff. I'm going to start by naming my page. It's going to be Web Design 2 Dictionary List. And first thing I'm going to do is just save it. So here I am. Um, why don't I name it? Uh, well, Dictionary List sounds like a good name. Um, remember, since it's Dictionary List, look what I did. You see how in my naming I put that dash on the side over there? For the, you know, as you, I know you already know, since this is uh, uh, the more advanced web design is that you shouldn't have spaces in your documents so if you're gonna do something like dictionary list like that no 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 that's that's not good it could cause whatever long story short you did not want to do that so that's I use dashes some people like underscores some people use good old camel case actually let me go back here and I'll show you if you don't know what camel case is camel cases instead of putting a dash or anything you would actually um, capitalize the letter so it'd be dictionary list and then you know obviously if you have another word over here dictionary 
web list, something like that, that every new word, instead of adding any spaces or anything, you just capitalize um, the letter. But I'll leave it alone with just dictionary list, and I'll use my dash instead. And here we go. I saved it. Now, where does my stuff go? All, all this stuff goes in the header. So I'll start with, uh, or rather in the body. So I'm going to start with the header, go back here, web design, pop it in, looking good. Although, ooh, something looks interesting. It's a little bit off color. Let me see if, okay, no good reason why that was off color, but it was. Sometimes that happens. And now I'm going to put in my my next header, which is going to be the the chapter name, chapter one, falling in love with jQuery. I'll do chapter two. And actually, you know, why don't, why don't I make life easier for myself? And I'll just copy the text from here. And I'll select it. And instead of doing it manually, I'm going to use my property pane over here. Ah, great. And that's not exactly what I was going for, but close enough. And let's see, there we go. Start building it. Okay, now I have some of that, the fundamental stuff over here, all my headers. So, so far, if we go in the design view, I've taken care of my, uh, all my headers for there. Next thing I'm going to do now is I want to start filling in this thing with my dictionary list.